it's day whatever of the thing. Yeah, you, it doesn't you know. care. It doesn't matter. It doesn't don't care. It doesn't it. feel. Don't it just even. wants you to open your mouth so it can jump yeah. in there and make you die. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, heavens. Uh, uh, Here it is. Yeah. Yeah. Let's all get a groan in there. Uh, uh, welcome to the Corona Diaries. Hello. Oh, We're all bored today. <laughs> oh, I'm I don't catching know. a bored vibe. No, you know, no. it's, it's, it's when you're not. It's when you're you're terrified you realize how grateful you should be to be bored. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. That's like, a good point. Bored is so much better than terrified because terrified is like, oh fuck, what am I gonna do? I need to get out of my house. I can't get out of my house. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> and then you just, <laughs> just just watch stuff that you hate until it yeah. bores you into being <laughs> docile. Uh, I don't yeah. know. I'm feeling I'm feeling exhilarated, man. Feeling good. I feel like a lot of people. It, it kind of it's going and. It, People have shifts. We're taking shifts of yeah. happiness. Not everyone's going to be happy at the same time. Not everyone's going to be freaked out at the same you time. You blew our wad last night. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. La- last that night was, was a bacchanalia of food. It was outstanding. That was very good. That oh, was yeah. good. That was nice. We went and bought a bunch of food and ate it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, you you uh, left your uh, to-go plate in the fridge, by the way, oh, Sam. I need that. <laughs> yeah, you need that. I need that, that bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it, was, it was good stuff. Yeah. But yeah, we got some. I uh, went to the OC Mart. We got some... Some uh, ribeye. Got some steaks. Got uh, some chorizo. Oh, that chorizo. I was. I think that was the the star player of the whole occasion. Was yeah, that chorizo spiced well, well, spiced well. The the steaks they uh, at OC Mart. I think they most of the beef that they sell at the butcher counter uh, tends to be cut very thin, so you can make carne asada. Yeah, uh, so we were at. We asked for a pound of a uh, ribeye, and they sliced it super thin, like it was a like it was corned beef yeah. at the deli or something. So uh, I was going to scream at the guy, but he was wearing a mask and he was like please yeah i know <laughs> please, it's i don't the, want to work right now holding a big knife yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was one of the yeah because i had the same thing because i was a little bit behind y'all in line so i didn't see what he was doing and then he started cutting them thin i'm like oh what the fuck is he uh, but uh yeah so it was basically impossible to get those uh get those steaks medium rare like i like them but uh you know it was yeah. okay we should have made cheese steaks in retrospect it's what i did this morning cut that steak up into little pieces with the peppers and the onions and then Ooh. i fucking grilled that shit together with a little bit of cheesies put oh it, put please. it Put it in a skillet. I just put like a little ring of olive oil. Just started tossing it, tossing it. Put it in a little pile. Put the cheese on top. Let it melt down. Scoop it up. Put it right on the sandwich. And then, oh, and I Mm. and I gotta let you have a little bit of horseradish. I put some horseradish on that sandwich to to pop, make that steak pop. God damn, make it pop. Make it pop. Make the fucking thing pop, dude. Mm. Sounds delicious. That's where it's at. This is what you do in quarantine too. You just find out the different ways that you can use the same food Mm -hmm. over and over again. Absolutely. It's not like you can go out and eat a different meal every day. You're buying quantity of stuff yeah mm-hmm. yeah you we go. had about four pounds of meat last night i would say <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 it was a lot it was a lot of just pure unadulterated beef yeah yeah a lot of lot of a lot of chorizo a lot of steak and then uh yeah oh, i was like, just talking about veggies. the ribeye including oh, yeah. the sausage yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah good five heavens. or six maybe Oof. heavens it's a good time it's a hell of a thing to hear to eat all that meat and like be all excited and be like this isn't so bad you're like jump, dance around like a little kid in place and then yeah. you like look on the phone and you're like fountains of wayne died <laughs> you're like, oh fuck, Christ. man yeah yeah r.i.p adam Schlesinger. Yeah, adam Schlesinger, man that sucks <sighs> not to bring them well, it, well it's fucking weird too uh, we we watched. When did we watch that thing you do? We watched it like a week ago. Yeah, like less than a week ago. We watched that thing you do, and he wrote that song. And I was like, I didn't know that. Yeah. And you were like, you know, that's Adam Schlesinger, yeah. the guy from Fountains of Wayne wrote. Like that was like his kind of first hit before yeah. Stacy's mom. And, and, and I, I was like, what? And you know, it was weird because I was talking on uh, Twitter with somebody about John Prine like a week before he, he, he got, pulled through though, he right? Got sick. Yeah. Well, he's in stable condition. Last I heard. So, uh, you know. We, uh, that, but apparently Schlesinger was in the same thing. Like they even like put out a statement where it was like, you know, he he was doing bad earlier, but you know he's kind of leveled out, and then he and then and then he was dead. Yeah, they say you can get better and then worse again. Jesus, we man, what type of fucking <laughs> like they've like it's picked some... everything about this virus is like utterly horrifying. Yeah, like, yeah. invisible. Everyone is going like you they, can't breathe. You yeah. can't breathe. Can't go outside. Like, man, everything is after this passes is going to be a fucking cakewalk. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's we're like, all going to be acting like prisoners who just got out. Yeah. And, you yeah. Know, we're at seeing least, light for the first time. <laughs> at least the silent death isn't here anymore. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, fuck. Mm. Anywho, delicious steak was was had last night. Yeah. <laughs> that's, the, that's the point here. That's the point. Um, so let's talk about how we have to wear masks now in L.A. If mm-hmm. we yeah. leave the house, you're, the mayor has said, wear a mask. Well, um, I'm Sam, down with it. I think I'm going to raw dog it. 
Yeah, I was about to say it's. it's I don't uh, have a mask. Well, not only do you not have a mask, you gotta shave the beard. Even bud. if you had a mask, it's gonna be rendered ineffective by that oh, beard. Well, then fuck it. I'll really not <laughs> wear one. Well, I guess this is the last episode of the Corona Diaries. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's gonna be dead. I leave my house every day. <laughs> Truly, yeah. Going to walk uh, every morning. Yeah. Lately, mm. but uh, yeah, I got I got my mask. I was rocking it at the at the OC Mart. Yeah, I noticed that. A I lot was, of people were. I was yeah. envious. Yeah, hey man, yeah. It's well, my uh, my mom is a antique dealer, mm-hmm. and she goes into as like does like estate sales and stuff. And part of that is goes into like disgusting houses to like you know pick out the antiques and right, clean them out and shit. Yeah. So she just that's just some shit that she's got already. Uh-huh. So she sent me one uh, in the mail. So that's that's uh-huh. how I, that's how I got it. But that's nice here. Anyway, mom. so there is a yin and a yang to the, the mask thing. Y- Correct. Yin yin? You know, we just heard the yin. The you must wear a mask. Uh huh. What's the Yang Rivers? Uh, Knox County Mayor decries stay at home order. So the governor of Tennessee has yesterday said that, hey, you know, shelter in place, instituting sort of a similar uh, order as uh, as they have in California. Rivers, can I ask you, who is the mayor of Knox County? Oh, that'd be uh, that'd be Kane. Yeah, Glenn Jacobs, uh, and this is his quote. I cannot applaud any government monitoring the movements of its people and mandating virtually everything. (laughs) We'll face an economic crisis with millions of people out of work and no way to earn a living, many of them due to mandated government shutdowns. So So he's a libertarian. He's like a huge libertarian shithead. Yeah, so that's that's his whole thing. So It's weird to be a libertarian and also hold public office, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's also weird. I think he's just coasting by on his very, very small celebrity. Yeah, well, well how, of course. That's how he got elected. That's how a libertarian gets elected yeah. to the office in Knox County. Well, so, you know, to his credit, before... He choke slammed his opponents. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Yeah. To well, hell. Be- yeah. Like, before all the, you know, all this, this shit went down, uh, I did a show in Knoxville about this time last year mm. and kind of, you know, did an informal poll. I kind of was asking people in the crowd, and from what I could tell... This is a comedy crowd, so it's, you know, about half redneck idiots and half kind of left alty types or whatever. Mm-hmm. And everybody was like, oh, he's good. He's good. And the reason they can say that, by the way, is that he's the mayor of Knox County and not the mayor of Knoxville. Because mm-hmm. it turns out the mayor of Knoxville is the guy who actually does stuff. And Kane's position is essentially to kiss babies and cut ribbons. Like, he's kind of just a ceremonial ah. mayor. So the shit he's saying is just it's just straight up dangerous It's uh, in a public way. It's not... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Especially for someone who has no real power. Yeah. Just from, being a figurehead. Yeah, he's more or less a figurehead. So uh yeah. We actually got a uh we got a we got a message uh from our friend uh what? At Mr. J W N uh Jesse West of the Rockies says uh story for the Corona Diaries. I work at a drug testing lab in Idaho. It's a county job, and the local government has decided that we are essential, which makes a certain amount of sense. However, our clients, usually people awaiting trial, parolees, court compliance, people in rehab programs, people in long-term probation, etc., are freaking out. Why are we still having to test? Don't they know this is dangerous? We've had to start wearing masks and PPE when our clients are around. We've reduced how often uh, certain groups have to test. We've asked that nobody who's sick enter the building, and I've had more than a few clients uh, try to call out sick despite having no symptoms by the way the majority of our clients have to be observed urinating the drug test is still considered an essential state function and while i'm happy to have a job right now and a supportive one at that every day is anxiety inducing i have an extended safety net if i end up sick but i'm hoping that it doesn't come to that so it's gonna be so hard for me to talk about this without being a child yeah (laughs) <laughs> just straight up right now well so I'm i mean just gonna admit it <laughs> that's fine well we we was you know uh we was talking about it i i did uh when i was talking to him i basically was because you know if he's describing this job basically he's got all these parolees calling in and being like hey i can't uh i can't piss in a jar because i'm i'm symptomatic so it's it's kind yeah. of a cool uh way to get out of uh, I was about to say it's like dude, drug testing at this at this point right now let it slide <laughs> right <laughs> like right. you gotta let it like <laughs> yeah it's like yeah drug testing is a big part of the world of yesteryear meaning <laughs> a couple of weeks ago yeah yeah, yeah well and i, I like <laughs> that's still that pretty- funny how they want to throw people in prison so bad yeah yeah, yeah. i know because it's just you know 
Yeah, let's I, just get a bunch of people together. You know what I'm saying? Well, in a, that's a little that, small space. I guess that's part of the economy that isn't shutting down. Fuck yeah, it's yeah. not going to, and it's all yeah. privately owned. Yeah, yeah. The hospitals are having to kind of expedite, and they you know push people through and stuff like that. So their their profit center is going to be shrinking pretty drastically uh-huh. uh, as more and more people get sick and stuff like that. But yeah, prison business is booming, baby. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. It's, yeah, I mean that citizen app has just been buzzing like you know it's been buzzing a lot. A lot, a lot of fist fights. Oh, a lot, a lot of fist, of fist fights. fights. I saw one the other day that was like uh, it was from Crenshaw. It was like man threatens to throw couch off the roof. Oh, <laughs> and I was like that ain't a crime as long as he picks up after himself. Is he gonna jump on it? Or? Is this not America, <laughs> sir? I mean, yeah, it sounds like some good old quarantine fun. Yeah, if you dude, ask me, it yeah. just sounds like yeah. We saw some quarantine fun at our apartment building yesterday on the way back from OC Mart. Remember that guy? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. There's people getting guy. arrested in the streets. Guy speaking getting of, arrested. Speaking yeah. of drug testing. Yeah, yeah. Drug testing. <laughs> they have that in their future. Mm-hmm. Do you think people are going to? are going to be more likely to abuse drugs right now. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Because so? yeah. Yeah. that's another thing that ain't stopping the drug trade. Yeah. yeah you need don't... that to funnel into the prison. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. is a pretty Corona. Yeah. Corona proof yeah. occupation. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so the reason Jesse said they're still open and that they've been deemed essential is because half of their clinic does loves uh, looking at dicks. Yeah, well, <laughs> so I'm getting to that. Yeah. That, that is funny. <laughs> Roasted. Uh, I, half of their clinic does do like, like counseling, like drug, counseling and stuff and mental mm-hmm. health is still technically essential uh-huh, but what yes. he was saying is they were proposing doing uh or maybe not proposing but one, one of the things he was talking about was like people being like oh can i just like uh you know skype in meaning can i piss into my webcam in front of you <laughs> <laughs> no you gotta uh, come down here and give me a wet shower yeah, yeah. I, I said <laughs> golden <laughs> shower oops i messed that up <laughs> i uh change I, up the, the mess with the little like camera on the computer and then he just stands up just pants down around the ankles and like a <laughs> horse cock just comes out <laughs> he has to stand on top of the chair just to get the tip down into the cup yeah. Uh, yeah, and the opposite of that, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a little thimble. You gotta see the tiniest penis in the world. <laughs> it's scared. Yeah. It's like a fucking baby's finger. You gotta punch it in to make it pee. <laughs> we all, we've all been there. <laughs> That's just the worst, though, to have to, like, you get coronavirus because you were going to drug test. Like, I... I said, yeah. I said to uh, Jesse, to paraphrase Outcast, you got corona because you had cloudy piss. <laughs> now you're back in the trap. Just that. Trapped. Go on and marinate that for a minute. <laughs> so, you uh, got that cloudy piss. Yeah. That's the other thing, too, which is crazy about the news. And I understand the news has to come as it comes. <laughs> but it's like... Do not like have any sort of like mental removal from what's going on right now. Pay attention to it. Uh-huh. Be afraid constantly. Do not go outside. Like it's all relevant information. <laughs> yeah. But I'm just saying, if someone had some sort of means of you know nodding out of reality for a second, yeah, I don't see what better time to do it than now. I've been smoking so much more weed. I'm afraid that I'm going to dull down the effects of it. So I've been pacing. It's like it's like binging Tiger King. I don't want to just run out of it and then be like, "Well, that's now I'm done." <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm trying to like still make it a treat. You okay. got to make things in life a treat. Nah, some you got to eat treats all day. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I'm then treats taste bad after a while. I, I wanted to shout out uh, at Fat Nerd Alex, uh, <laughs> spelled. <laughs> P H A T N R R D A L E X. Pretty hot Alex. and tempting nerd, Alex. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's a pretty hot and tempting nerd. Uh, he actually uh, sent me this. Uh, you know, there's so many people who who are you know not doing great right now, but we did want to yeah. shout out. Yes, we did want to shout out one uh, one person who I, I genuinely consider to be uh, a great hero, and that is of course uh, the uh, stuntman, professional wrestler, superhuman. Uh, oh yeah, yeah uh, I love this guy. Yeah, so he posted a thing. Uh, he said, "Hey everyone, I just wanted to give you guys an update on my health. Uh, if you don't know already, I in- got injured in my last stunt video. I bruised my tailbone and fractured my elbow, so I'm gonna have to take a break. But don't worry, I have two new series called One Drinking Hot Sauce and Doing Extreme Stunts, <laughs> and Two Superhuman Does Extreme Trampoline Stunts. Coming soon. Whoop whoop. Well, that's great news. It's yeah. So you know he's uh, he's Christ. taking a break. Can you put on the video?" Uh, yeah, that's a, oh, of course I've got it queued up. Uh, you could go to our uh, our Twitter uh, at the Goods Pod, and we'll uh, we'll throw this. Up I love here. these videos so uh, much. Oh uh, yeah, I got it. They're too short though. I want to see him uh, rise, roll, roll I rise in pain more. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so this is the one that did it. The name of the video is uh, "Flying Elbow Drop onto Toy Cars Light Tubes Double Drywall." CM Punk style. CM Punk style. This is Supreme 
Welcome to the show today. I'll be jumping out to toy cars and light tubes. This is for Juggalos and Juggalettes. Do not try this at home. I hope you like it. <laughs> Fuck this shit! <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> so good. Oh, the printer one is good too. Anytime oh, the elbow drops a hard object. <laughs> yeah, dude, the printer's rough. The man. microwave one too. Oh, oh my God. goodness. Yeah, so so look. Happens to Betsy. You know, all, all my homies out there who are in the hospital, whether it be Corona or a uh, flying elbow drop on the toy cars, light tubes, and double drywall, we're thinking about you. Yeah, yeah. 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 absolutely. Yeah. Can you imagine how you feel if you were someone in the hospital with Corona and like in the bed next to you was someone who like you know lit a firecracker off their nuts or something? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> then the, the people it's go over to the, the fire the firecracker nuts, man. They're just like giving him like all the attention and care he needs. And they're just like, look, we're handling enough coronavirus patients as it is. <laughs> and then they just look <laughs> the other side and they're like, see a guy who's like, I threw a couch off a roof. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, uh, this is a guy I went to high school with who's been in jail for a couple of years. Mm. And they let him out of jail. And I want you to keep in mind, this, is, this man is white. His very very white oh man uh but they let him out of jail and now he is a black revolutionary <laughs> his, oh good oh. his facebook statuses are amazing so i uh, just wanted to shout out wow to, uh, let us meditate this is this is a white guy let us meditate on the sacrifice of the martyr marcus garvey pray be to our shepherd athelai with praise to the most high god <laughs> Yah rastafari emperor haile selassie I, lord, of, lord of lords <laughs> <laughs> Yeshua ha Mashiaika. Peace be, <laughs> peace be upon the believers. Nandu, and the... Nandu. <laughs> <laughs> Shazbot. <laughs> yeah, Shazbot. <laughs> yeah, send the angels down to protect I and I, Lord of the tribe, Judah. Yes, always queen. wearing the crown. And uh, uh, yeah, so, so he's not kidding here. No, no, no. no. He's very serious. Uh, uh, I and I not afeard of them. Yep, yep. All right. Well, uh, I got some good news, first of all. Okay. Okay. Um, the IRS has announced that people are going to have to wait up to five months to get their check from oh, the government. Oh, Jesus. That's nice. Five oh. months? That's... Uh, yeah. Only 20 weeks. Wow. That seems very... Um, Our not one, even worth it. <laughs> <laughs> seems like it's going to be over after that. Yeah. The one check that we're going to get. Yeah. <laughs> the one for 1200 But Here's the other thing, too. They make that check for two grand. Yeah. Maybe people wouldn't have to go on unemployment yeah 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 and yeah. make it a couple of them right but uh as it turns out that's not how the government works right, right. <laughs> yep. and uh you get a check next year yeah yeah, yeah. yep and that should be good for everybody but that's more like a reward for living through it uh, right, right right yeah you yeah. get twelve hundred dollars and a pat on the back for living through it yeah. that's what that is <laughs> it's when you get to the end of the world in mario 3 and you get to jump up and hit the star yeah or the or the, the, the top of the flagpole yeah yeah if you yeah. can hit the top of the flagpole then you get the twelve hundred dollar check <laughs> yeah if you live yeah if you can yeah. avoid all those goombas that's fucking ridiculous that's a re that's a reward yeah that's not a, that's not a supplement that's not a stimulus at all Oh my god! <laughs> it's almost like we don't have a government that functions <laughs> at all. You know, you think you you elect a guy from the show who's like you fired, and you yeah, think yeah. he's going to do a good job. Well, oh, it's, yeah. it makes sense though. If we've seen the way the government's handled hurricane disasters, oh, like yeah, fucking yeah. Katrina yeah. and FEMA, they did a great job yeah. for that. Yeah. yeah. Um, what were the other ones? The one that hit New York and really fucked it up. The oil spill, Hurricane oil Sandy, spill, yeah. 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 Sandy, really yeah. Fukushima, got... yeah. Um, well, yeah. 20, 20 weeks. That's like what? Okay, so we're on week one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Does so this week count? Well, it is yeah. what? It's, it's Thursday. It's, yeah. So we're like, I'd say we're like, you know. Okay. It's only 19.6 right. weeks. We're like, yeah, it's like 19.3 weeks if you want to, <laughs> if you want to get technical. <laughs> I can't wait. What are you guys going to spend years on? I don't know. I'm going to quarantine one more month and just eat pizza in the house every day <laughs> with my $1,200 yum yum check. Oh, God. Yeah. You uh, could do three a day, re realistically, right? Uh-huh. The real thing is, the real reason to go outside now is to scout for people who will make for good eats. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I know what you're saying. You know, I just like saying, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Learn that about myself. Yeah, twelve hundred dollar check. Can't wait for it. It's going to be great. Uh, <laughs> so Amazon, you know, all their employees uh, were on strike. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amazon's now saying they're going to provide masks and temperature tests 
Oh, good. As a way to be sa- safe for the workers. Temperature test? Great. Like, before, oh, for the workers. Yeah, so before you come into work, they're going to stick a fucking thermometer in your mouth. In and, your asshole, yeah. Yeah, in your ass and see. Well, well they, what they do is they put a thermometer in your asshole and then they kiss you on the forehead because uh-huh. if the forehead is too hot, you can tell by the lips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I remember th- that from church. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, they're because the workers are bas- basically saying the conditions are unsafe. During they this are right. time, yeah, they are absolutely and right. And Amazon, of course, just wants to continue to make money. Sure. So, oh, Jeff Bezos seems like a nice guy. Yeah, <laughs> being the richest man on earth, and he hasn't shed a penny for any of this. He sounds <laughs> like a pretty good guy. Yep, a good guy. Um, so yeah, they're trying to just get the warehouses or whatever back open by offering uh, a mask, which we've talked about how that is ineffective right, re- right. realistically well it's it's effective in keeping other people from it doesn't help you no but it spreads it's it basically just shields your spittle from getting out into the world and hanging and it can help hours. it doesn't 100 percent stop it it can help can help yeah yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so it's still like they're basically offering bullshit to just i think also it's a publicity thing to be like, I th- hey, I th- we're I th- trying, guys. I think Big Mask got together with <laughs> Pharma, right. and they said, you know, this guy's like, he's got too many masks. He's got to get rid of these masks. They're not, they're not, <laughs> there's nothing to there's, them. <laughs> there's a guy in our neighborhood slanging masks on the corner. Yeah, four bucks. He is, yeah. Four Supply bucks. and demand. They're in a little bag to act like they're like pre-sealed or something. <laughs> I thought he was selling um, hot dogs. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dude, I, at first, I thought he was selling weed. Because sometimes weed comes in those very similar looking bags. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh, Vape weed. Or fucking, all bets are off. It's Corona. Yeah. I'd fucking <laughs> sell weed on the street. <laughs> Supply and demand. Yeah. Mm. Can't hate on that. Nope. The um, streets run out of weed, you know? That'll be a sad day. So, um,. This is the last thing I want to talk about. The mm-hmm. other day we had talked about the UFC fight between Khabib and Tony Ferguson. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's officially canceled. Okay, good. It's officially canceled. Good. Uh, Khabib has come out and said everybody should just be in quarantine, and the UFC is just trying to make money. Yeah. So, he, he has come out and just said that. Yeah, of And he's course. like one of the faces of the company. Right, right. So yeah. that's interesting from a uh, <laughs> business perspective. He's, yeah. he's just like, they're, they're trying yeah. to fucking I'm, fuck you're, over you're, fighters. Your, your ticket to, the, to fame and glory, it, you can't help but be like, this guy is a piece of shit. Like yeah, that, that's what level yeah. piece of shit Dana White is. Oh, I cannot believe nobody at WWE hasn't hasn't gotten you know said shit yet about Vince McMahon. Yeah, because their WrestleMania is happening this I, weekend. I that's read insane. a blurb that Brock Lesnar and Vince got into it. Um, they get into it every year over some shit, but this is like actually serious. Where you're like, well, yeah, that's what Brock Lesnar is mad about though, having to do all this during the Corona of quarantine. Yeah, well, and, and also if Brock Lesnar is the fucking voice of reason over there <laughs> yeah. god help him <laughs> and just well, because it's a galley of strong men doesn't mean that they're also yeah. not like broken down drug addicts well, who have had their bodies abused for, yeah. for what they've done for their bodies you yeah, know like yeah. that fucking guy he's not wrong somebody tweeted this at me and was like hey you should talk about this i guess this is talking about it uh roman reigns bowed out uh from wrestlemania because he got on him well no because he had cancer last year so his immune system is completely oh, like he's immunocompromised depleted yeah so he he was he beat leukemia last year which is fucking awesome but he can't be getting this now like you know it's Fuck no so uh yeah smart so man yeah so he yeah. he backed out and they still I, as of today i don't know that they've got uh it was supposed to be him versus bill goldberg <laughs> From you know, hell of a match that would. It was been. gonna be so shit yeah. anyway, and now they don't know who Goldberg's going up against. I'm like, it doesn't matter. It's already gonna be the worst yeah. match of all. It's time. already gonna Throw be the worst the, WrestleMania of all time. Like, the, a literal tomato can. I'm telling you, them. it's yeah, it's it's one of those things where you're just like, God damn it, what? Why is he alive for so long? Yeah, dude, pricks live forever. Only only the good die young. Billy Joel tells us this. He did. William Joel saying, yeah, it was Sir William Joel. Um, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Speaking of pricks, uh, unless you got more on the on the UFC. No, I mean I, another UFC fighter who's a champion. I think of the welterweight <laughs> division, uh, Usman. Uh, I don't remember his first name. Uh, I think it's Karamu Usman. He basically agreed with Khabib and was like, they care more about 
money than the fighter's safety. Yeah, he obviously. He just like tweeted that and was just like, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Mm, this is a they've they've already held one or maybe two events to an empty stadium. God. It was because they were booked in Brazil and then all this shit happened and they just did the did the event in an empty stadium. Why even at that point go to Brazil? Because <laughs> they were already booked for it. Yeah, I guess. And they're not good. They, they're just stubborn as fuck. Yeah. Remember, Dana White's a cokehead and a gambling addict. Right, right. So he's probably doing all these fucking Hard like, to be risk with. reward things in his head when sure. just making these decisions. Yeah, yeah I'm going to be the only guy out here making fucking money. That's what, yeah. I, that's what I'm talking about. That's <laughs> yeah. what I'm talking about. My head looks like a pimple. It's about to explode. <laughs> yeah. And Vin- Vince is. And he's best friends with Donald Trump. Yeah. Probably also a cokehead. Yeah. And I would imagine addict. so. Yeah. 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 Um, Vince is doing at least an Adderall addict from what the reports yeah. have said. V- Vince is doing the same shit too where and I'm hoping that once WrestleMania is over because the the only possible justification for it and it's not a real one it's just like a lot a practical one is like to wrap up all the storylines uh, to then go on hiatus which is what they should have been doing because they had built all these storylines and blah 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 but it's like dude who gives a shit if WrestleMania is going to suck mm-hmm. uh, so but he's just an old Republican who's like I'm not going to change my ways because of this right right the whole world shutting down oh, I'm yeah. not I go like to go out there and find solutions oh, the whole world's crazy yeah <laughs> oh, you know the thing about Vince right he, he hates uh, sneezing like if if he's in a meeting and somebody sneezes, he'll get fucking get furious out. because it means that you can't control your own body. He like he thinks it's like a lack of discipline and like what? like sne- He's a fucking yeah dude. He's a maniac. Uh, like but uh, yeah like and so the blood of all those wrestlers aren't on my hands. Right. Come so, on. Yeah. <laughs> they well, wanted to do that. Goddamn pal. Owen Hart <laughs> demanded to do that stunt. <laughs> That's right. Chris Benoit's family. They forgive me. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, yeah, well, speaking of pricks, uh, this is, uh, I'm just going to read this. This is, uh, this is vanity fair. Uh, this is from yesterday. By now it's custom for those who take to the podium at daily white house coronavirus briefings to offer up some dear leaderish praise for Donald Trump. But even by the standards of sycophants like Mike Pence have said, my pillow founder, Mike Lindell was over the top. <laughs> what? So, you know, my pillow, right? Have you seen that? The, no, the, no. Those infomercials. Looks like you're not <laughs> sleeping well. Yeah. How did you know? Hey, Megan! What? Hey, you're that guy! The My Pillow guy! That's right, and I'm here to help you get the best sleep of your lives. <sighs> oh, you have a down pillow. Here's the problem with down pillows you lay there, you feel comfortable, and guess what? It goes down. You got one bent neck. This pillow's no good. You're sleeping on memory foam. Right, right. I'll show you what's wrong with that idea. (laughs) Sleep's all about too high or too low, and I'm going to show you where your comfort level would be. So, you know, that feels better. Right, that's better, but I'm not going to sit home. (laughs) So every morning you're getting up like, you know, it's not Mm -hmm. good. You know, Just like all of you out there, I had problems sleeping. I had tried every pill yeah, out there. No one involved is like, you may want to take my, a second look at this. My patented fill adjusts. You know, he edited this himself. Oh, yeah. Keep your neck aligned. Oh, yeah. My pill will hold its shape all night long. Regardless that guy, of your Mike Lindell, was over the top. Uh, so he's at the press conference in the in the Rose Garden, and, and Trump has all of these like business people just sit in the front row, and he calls him up to the podium, and he says, quote, God gave us grace on November 8th, 2016 to change the course we were on. Uh, the betting baron said during a surreal appearance in the, the Rose betting Garden, baron. <laughs> God had been taken out of our schools and out of our lives, and a nation had turned its back on God, but our president gave us so much hope. Even Trump, who relishes praise and revels in superlatives, was apparently caught off guard by the impromptu glorification. Quote, I did not know he was going to do that, (laughs) Trump said, but he is a friend of mine and I do appreciate it. Uh, (laughs) Lindell was only the latest in a parade of business leaders that he had placed front and center of his daily coronavirus briefing, seemingly in an effort to put the corporate world at ease. (laughs) So... (laughs) I, I can't. Whenever he, like Donald Trump gets a glowing endorsement, he really does not expect it. Oh yeah. Like, like when Kanye said all that shit, he was like, oh, "Kanye's a good guy." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I love his raps. His raps are good, and he's just—he's a good. He's—he's he's nice. 
He's good. Uh, Lindell went on to say, quote, I encourage you to use this time at home to get back into the word. Read our Bibles and spend times with our family. <laughs> All right. Pedal your pillows and get the fuck out. <laughs> uh, quote, we'll get through this and back to a place that's stronger and safer than ever. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, basically, uh, my pillow guy gets up there and uh, sucks off Trump and uh, tells everybody to read their Bibles. And then Trump, he's just like... Boy, they do sell a lot of pillows, don't they? Like, and literally, <laughs> like, pillows. people are saying they're just like, "Oh, wait, is he doing like corporate sponsorship right here?" Like, yeah, like, there's actually like a case to be made. This virus that. brought to you by my creepy by pillow. My <laughs> pillow, my creepy pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Does it feed you nightmares? No, but it gets you there. <laughs> Question: Are there my pillows in the Lincoln bedroom? Oh, you know there mm. have to be. There's there's a lot of sex swings in there and <laughs> glass tables with rolled up dollar bills and credit cards. Some tarps for pissing. Some tarps for pissing. <laughs> there's some good old pissing tarps. <laughs> Um, and I wanted to do a couple worst of social media. Oh yeah, hit us before hit us. we get out of here. All right, and this guy is a returning hero here. He deserves a se- he gets a second trophy for this one. This was the man who originally said we could get world peace if we just didn't have any racism. Okay, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, so he posts. Thank God, Mary Kondo came into our lives in the last couple of years. <laughs> Decluttering is one of those things that's keeping me sane right now. (laughs) While we're at it, I can I just want to shout out my Asian American friends and family and neighbors and grocers. We're lucky to have you. I love you. Well, okay. (laughs) (laughs) He seems like he's going to pretty to pretty far lengths to prove that he's not racist. It's like, have you done something extremely racist? <laughs> <laughs> well, the weird thing to me is he just brings up the decorating show, right? And then he just harps on the woman being fucking Asian and then just goes <laughs> yeah. into a thing about how all Asians are great. Yeah, that's uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely. Real, that's, that's cringy. Absolutely. That's why I said he gets And, us... and racist. That is the, yeah, what he absolutely. said is racist. It's weirdly racist. It, it's not harmful racist, but it's definitely no, it's, racist. It's like, yeah, like stupid like entitled white person racism. Yeah, like foot in your mouth racism. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He thought he was trying to do something good. It, and yeah. oh boy did he fail. I just want to be an ambassador for the whites. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of the good ones, guys. Um and this other one, I don't know. This one I think is funny. <laughs> uh I've been saying grocery stores should pay their employees fifteen dollars an hour plus for years. I said that people t- that take care of our food are essential, and y'all called me a commie and said, but the cost of everything would go up. Jokes yeah. on you, <laughs> society. Yeah. Yeah, I like a, lo- a lot of people retroactively be like, called it. I Well, I love how people like this are making a Facebook post that's addressed to everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all yeah. all called me a commie. <laughs> I remember publicly calling that guy a commie. Yeah. <laughs> it was just like, what? Are, who are you talking <laughs> You're to? You're a commie, this? man. Welcome to America. It's not how it works here. But oh, it is man. funny how many people are like, I called it. You're completely yeah. right about that. Yeah. Just so many people <laughs> either being like, I told you this was going to happen. Or like, does that give you some semblance of feeling yeah. like in control of the situation of I, which you are not a, in control of at you, all? You know what? I just, it occurred to me, I'm going to have to join some like doomsday prepper Facebook groups oh that's a good idea Cause, cause man they must be going on fucking have, code red like dude, fucking doomsday preppers have had a rock hard dick for like two <sighs> weeks straight now because how it's... to build a crossbow out of dental floss <laughs> and a yeah. toilet paper tube i i, I, I found how that to teach your son to cannibalize <laughs> <laughs> i found that cane story because i because i did join a group called uh knoxville east tennessee crimes uh, oh. It's just people talking about crimes and Knoxville. Any good crimes? Uh, I will, we'll we'll get some up for tomorrow. I just there I just go. got into the group. They just approved me, and I saw oh, okay. the Kane story was the top one. It's like so. Christmas morning, yeah. I know. Yeah, I'm gonna just get in some weird groups. I gotta join. Dude. With, I gotta get my alter ego on there though. I can't be joining as myself. I did want to shout out uh, before we go. Uh, our friend uh, TC at the TC 1993 hit me up and said. Uh, 
hey, Rivers Langley and the goods from the woods, do you mind giving my new show a shout out? So uh, people are starting podcasts and that's cool. You got yeah, yeah. to do Great what you got to do. For it. Fucking Great awesome time for it. Great time to talk and record it yeah. and mm-hmm. put it on the internet. So, for, uh, for when the aliens come and need some reference of what civilization <laughs> must have yeah. been like when uh, people yeah. were around. So I want to shout out a Box Number podcast uh, that you can find them on Twitter at Box Number Pod. Uh, oh, I listen to that all the time. Yeah. I love that podcast. <laughs> I don't even know if the first episode episodes up yet but yeah Shut i'm trying too. to help him out uh, <laughs> so he says uh, in the in the description uh, this is the conversations that echo through comic shops worldwide delivered your ears weekly hosted by vtc 1993 so check All out right. box number of pie we're gonna help everybody we're gonna hey. try to you yeah. know a shitty <laughs> Poison tide raises all boats, as we they have say. So much sure. time to promote other people's things. Why not? Yeah. yeah dude. So yeah, there's that, and uh, yeah, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Rivers Langley. Uh, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Carter underscore Glasscock. You can find me on Patreon. Yeah, and then you can. Give me a call. Yeah, patreon.com slash the goods We all need somebody to talk to at this point. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. We'll try to get some, uh, I want to get some wrestling shit up on the Patreon this week, because it's WrestleMania. Oh, yeah, we're watching that wrestling thing? Yeah, yeah. we should. Hell yeah, I'm Hell down. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, that's it. Uh, this is uh, another one from our friend Johnny Mose, his uh, quarantine cover series. This is uh, Johnny Mose covering uh, Major Leagues by Pavement. Christians cheer the rhyme.